All right, so I got an hour and a half to kill and we're just kind of walking around. Oh, hey, kitty. What's up, kid? We're just kind of walking around old San Juan. Um, I think I'm a couple minutes away from my house, so uh, when it's four o'clock, we'll check in, but it's hot outside. It's like 90 degrees and full sun, but it's super beautiful here. Everything is super colorful, brick roads everywhere. Yeah, it's super nice. Wow, ignore me because I'm a little sweaty, but holy moly, this place is super nice. Like, they have these old school windows that open up. And uh, in the kitchen, yeah, all of these windows open, it's really cool. And then you have a huge balcony. This entire place is yours. Wow. It's hot. I'm super sweaty. I need to get in the shower. I need to get some homework done. We'll go out uh, in the evening around 7.30, so hopefully get some nice night shots. Um, check out some local spots. Uh, but yeah. Finally settled in and feels pretty good, pretty excited. Let's get it, let's take on San Juan. A few moments later. All right, good morning, guys. It's uh, six o'clock in the morning. A little bit hungover, no big deal. But uh, we're going to the National Rainforest. And right now we're just hiking in the car. I got to return the rental car. I think we're doing a bunch of water slide stuff in the rainforest tonight. So pretty hyped for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. 12 seconds later. I missed the initial tour bus, so I couldn't make it to uh, the national park. It's really unfortunate. Uh, I just had to drop off the Turo, and uh, it was just too much time overlapping. So I was like five, 10 minutes late, but they left exactly at 7.30, so. Contacted Airbnb, hopefully they're gonna refund me. If not, it's not a big deal. Uh, it was like a hundred bucks, which is, really shitty but for now i'm just gonna go um go to the beach chill do some snorkeling and uh just kind of have a relaxed day rather than uh running around i was talking over this morning anyway so it's probably for the best I got my starbucks let's uh let's go get it so this is kind of cool there's um a wall of free books So you could donate books and you could uh, pick up books if you're trying to read, which is nice. We made it to the beach. It's kind of like a gulf uh, enter, in, into San Juan. So yeah, I think we're gonna go snorkeling around here. I'm just really early, I'm like 20, 30 minutes early. Lesson learned after missing my first tour. So it was a long walk, but uh, the weather is beautiful and hopefully we get to see some pretty cool stuff, you know? All right, man. I'm walking back to old San Juan. It's like an hour walk. So I'm just stopping in places and seeing anything that's going on, trying to do anything interesting. And uh, a bunch of dudes, locals here, jumping off a bridge into uh, the lagoon. And like right below where like manatees. Oh my God, it was wild. So 
joined joined up with them, did that a little bit. Badass. Oh, very interesting, interesting stuff. All right, so this is like 30, 40 feet. We're just gonna fucking wing it. What is it? Oh, we could. Dude, that's wild. Dude, did you come with French or not? Huh? French or not? Just me, man. Just you? Why made you come with me? I, um... Going to San Felipe de Moro, which is like a castle. It might be Del Moro. Um, my Spanish is horrible, so um, yeah, like this is kind of like the walkway there, and it's like right on the shore. It's my last weekend here, so I'm trying to get as much done and out of the way as I can today, because uh, I'll be working throughout the week. But hopefully, this place is super cool, and uh, let's go check it out. I totally figured I went the wrong way. I took a whole hike around the castle. I guess it was really scenic and beautiful, so it was worth it. But the majority of the people are actually entering down to that road, into the entrance there. But I walked all the way around and did like a little hike. So, I mean, this is huge. People are just chilling, it's like a park. Let's go see if we could uh, learn some history about Puerto Rico. <clears throat> Here's something interesting that I didn't know. The way that the current in the Atlantic Ocean is set up is this is one of the first points from Europe that you're gonna reach Pan America in essence. Uh, so this uh, Puerto Rico is one of the first islands that Columbus discovered. Um, so that's why um, this this moat or this fortress was built because the way that the wind is set up and uh, most ships end up at this specific point on the island. I'm still learning so if I miss some of the facts, don't judge me too much. <laughs> kind of an interesting thought but they have different types of cannons which includes like these mortars and then these long-range cannons as well as different sized um, ammunition and all of that pretty much determines like the kinematics behind the gunfire I mean I'm not surprised if they understood kinematics at that time uh, actually I don't even think Newton was alive Anyways, yeah, we're inside and we're just walking through and uh, trying to read up as much as I can here. This is like straight AOT. Like, I see where they got the design from, so. You could see that this is where we are and this is how the tower looked beforehand. This was actually the first, this is the origin of where the tower was built, and the entire fortress was built around this uh, once Spain realized they needed to increase their uh, defense. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is the original spot where it all started. Right now, obviously, the fortress kind of engulfs the entire thing, but still kind of cool to know where it all began. All right, that was pretty interesting. Sorry, it's a little windy. Um, we're gonna head into town and try to grab some grub. Um, yeah, just enjoy the view for now. I don't know what I'm feeling for food. Let's see. Alright, so I ate a little bit too much Puerto Rican food, so we're trying Mexican food today. Pork belly, chicken, fish, and um, beef. 
I think. So, hopefully it's going to be good. Those tacos, pretty fire. I'd say um, second best compared to uh, Tampa. And then San Diego goes for uh, third. Only for tacos though, San Diego had some awesome other stuff. Um, but I found a Starbucks. And then now we're gonna go hunting for cruise ships. I don't know, I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but I don't know if they're docked. I hope so, that'd be kind of cool. I wanna see them, so let's go check it out. Unfortunately, nothing is docked. So I came this way and there was nothing here. This entire place is empty. But there's also the, the I love Puerto Rico sign. Just like I love New York. Check it out. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna resort back to Plan A, which was uh, go check out the surf and see if there's any waves. Uh, go explore a little bit. If not, then I'm just gonna go home, finish up some work, and just chill. You know. No big deal, chill outside, enjoy the weather, and uh, have a good time. Like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my scooter. There are some waves. I uh, looked at the map. You have to um, surf out from here, follow this right here, and then you end up around that area over there where it breaks. Um, the problem with this area is that like, there's, like barriers of entry so you can't just directly go out yeah, i don't know i don't even think it's worth going out at this point because the waves are kind of small but uh, yeah maybe tomorrow i don't know maybe it'll get better tomorrow like i said there are a couple people out there but not not doing anything worthy of action now i'm obviously still a beginner but yeah i don't know doesn't seem that interesting to me maybe next time so no surfing, unfortunately. So I'm starting to miss a little bit of uh, Havos Beach here, but I mean, you can't deny the view, it's really nice. Check this out, it's really cool. They have like uh, an entire mural wall. It's really cool, they have like a lot of these uh, mosaic pieces that I really like. Uh, this is just like a big wall with a sidewalk. That was really cool, so. All right, I'm gonna head home now. On one of these bird scooters. I'm surprised the, uh, the island has them. Uh, we use these for transportation like in San Diego all the time. It's nice because there's like designated roads too. Like I have a four mile walk. I'm just taking one of these and chilling. Nah, man, but this view, Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. This place is beautiful. Look. but this is kind of cool look there's actually a tree growing inside of there it's kind of sick yeah check it out i mean some of these places are really abandoned but i feel like if you have money and you could fix them up you could really flip it you know but what do i know i'm just some lowly peasant Anyways, let's keep going. All right, so it is um, nine o'clock. It's my last uh, full day here in San Juan. So I figured I document every single thing, every single aspect of it. Um, just uh, figured I'd take a break from work. There's a cute little cafe that's like uh, one block away. It's outside. So I'm gonna grab some food, grab some coffee, go back, uh, get back to work. Ordered 
a cappuccino with uh, two pastries. It's a pretty cute spot. <laughs> Spots like over there. I feel like it'd be a good spot to work. I feel like good, good vibe, but obviously I can't work here um, for certain reasons, but pretty cool. <laughs> Ignore the fact I'm shirtless. I feel like I'm only shirtless at home. Check out the food. So we got our cappuccino. Then we have, I believe that's a cinnamon bun and like a cheese Danish or a cheese croissant. So I'm gonna give it a shot. And uh, I'm actually really curious about that cheese Danish. Let's uh, give it a bite real quick. Yo, that's so good. Mmm. God damn. That's really good. Alright, let's try the cinnamon, cinnamon, uh, cinnamon, cinnamon bun. And holy shit, this freaking thing is super windy and it's really bothering me because it's knocking everything off. Dude, no. That hits different. That's so good. I don't know what the name of that cafe was, but I highly recommend. That's delicious. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy that uh, and then go back to work. This is Goodbye Puerto Rico. It was a good time. I really enjoyed it here. Met a lot of great people, had a lot of good food, did a lot of cool things. Uh, everyone's super nice. Recommend really seeing the west side of the island and the south side of the island is really beautiful. Yeah, San Juan's great, but everything's a little more expensive. I feel like, especially old San Juan, OSHA, where we're staying, it's, it's a big tourist trap. So, you know, um, in Aguadilla, I was spending maybe 10 to 15 dollars a day on food that includes like breakfast lunch and dinner here i'm spending around 30 to 40 so definitely more expensive you could you could stretch your budget out a little bit by going grocery shopping and stuff but i just didn't have that time didn't really have that luxury so yeah i mean what can i say i really enjoyed it and uh let's head home arrived at my terminal rather early going to new york I'm gonna meet up with an uh, old friend, probably grab a drink. I'm, I'm thinking we just go straight to Manhattan from JFK. And then after tomorrow, we're gonna land in Buffalo, Beer Olympics, chill there for a day. And then Sunday morning, we're leaving to Orlando. So lots of traveling days ahead, but it'll be a good time. I'm excited to see everyone and uh, yeah. Made it to New York. It's a lot more humid and shitty outside in New York. Yeah, definitely a change of pace after Puerto Rico. All right, this man just picked me up and uh, we're going out to, it's a pub in Manhattan and we're meeting up with tea. We're about to get some food. It's been like an hour and a half drive from JFK to Manhattan, so probably not worth it. <laughs> We're visiting T. What's up? And uh, he's showing me his rooftop bar. This man's living the dream. Look at this. Oh God, and the Empire State Building is right here. I didn't even fucking notice. Look at this. Wild. Absolutely insane. Octopus. We're rocking my fedora. It's bedtime. Korean food is bomb. Oh, Bubble tea. So it specifically fits your head? Yeah, it does. fit mine? Probably not. You're like Frankenstein. Fedora! <laughs> <laughs> Going to sleep and then now uh, we got JFK in the morning. Coming to Buffalo Beer Olympics. <laughs> Living the dream. So it's been three weeks since I've been home. I'm excited to be home. This journey was crazy, what a trip. 
did a lot of crazy stuff. Now, uh, time to relax for a day and then uh, go out to Orlando. All right, I'll see you then.